From archaeological finds, it's believed that Africa is a cradle of human civilization. And so, the world's first tools were put into use here. When you see a Kai hard at work in the sweltering heat of the northeastern plains of Kenya, he's on a mission to preserve this rich tradition. He is a Turkana blacksmith, and he crafts his wares outside his hut. Geographically, Turkana is very detached from modern civilization, and that makes it easier for Ekai to be true to his people's tradition through the crafts he creates. Using locally obtained tools, Ekai carves out a traditional round knife aptly named Roundabout. It's used to slaughter small animals, carve meat, and also as a weapon against enemies. He is able to map out the shape quickly and bring it to life in less than half an hour. This self-taught occupation began in 1997 from watching neighboring communities create these metal wares and soon grew into a business. Apart from the wrist knives, or roundabouts as they're locally known, Ekai also sculpts little wooden stools, known as Ekicholong. These are traditionally used by men when they're out in the field, attending to their livestock or leisurely passing time in the tiny town. The small pieces of furniture are carried around effortlessly, as a woman would her purse. I found people using these knives, and that's how I came upon the craft. I started using them. His main and only challenge lies in the fact that he quickly and often gets tired and has to take a break when his spirit is low. I feel pain in my chest, my back, in my body. His daughter Jane, who attends a nearby boarding high school, is okay with her father's job. My father, I would like to study hard in order to help him because his work is hard. He has taken me through school, so I must show that I am grateful. Ekai is a hard worker and he will not allow anything to put him off. I will do this work until I get old, as there is no other work. This is my only job. The Turkana are creative craftsmen who admire the artwork they produce. They work diligently to ensure that their identity is sustained through this art. There is no facilitation in getting these materials. We just don't have them. We collect the metal from junk or forage from garages. We even make do with old cooking pans. They produce jewelry and weapons for sale and for the general beautification of their people. This trade is not just unique to Ekai's people. The Konso, a tribe whose roots can be traced to Ethiopia, are also creative blacksmiths. Their specialty is for special occasions. The blacksmith art of the Turkana is a skill that will never leave them. Among the other tribes of Kenya, this is one that is still rooted in the origin of mankind. Archaeologists have dug up tools dated over 4 million years old, a clear indication that the skill has been passed down hundreds of generations. It's generally believed that the Homo habilis is the first full-fledged tool-making ancestor of man. The curator of the Kobi Forum Museum, Abdikadir Kurewa, studied social science in order to better understand the origin of his people. He was able to go through an exchange program to earn his education. Um, I curate history around Kobi Forum, which is a world heritage site and um, uh, it's home or it's the cradle of mankind. So it's a big shoe to fit in, but uh, that's what I do. The museum receives plenty of tourists, especially in the peak season around the annual Media Turkana Festival. Kobifora is, is um, of course, famous because of um, 
of exceptional fossil finds, uh, including the ancestor or the, the Homo ancestor to the Homo, that is the Australopithecus uh, boisei, um, and um, uh, the Homo erectus, and uh, Homo habilis, of course. And the most interesting bit is that the Homo habilis and the Homo erectus were coexisting at one point, around 1.6 million years old. So the theory uh, behind who was the predecessor and was is is uh, is uh, kind of uh, uh, let's say fluid in that sense. So it's also a very special place because there is evidence of domestication. I mean, controlled fire use of controlled fire around 1.9 million years. So. And the most interesting thing is that it's the home, I mean, it has evidence of, the first evidence of domestication of livestock in Eastern Africa.